Limited outbreak, Ebola has been transmitted to another human while outside Africa. I'm Jasmine Diaz. And I'm Nicholas Bologante. The Supreme Court proves the old adage, if you don't do anything, you've actually done something. Your CSN News starts now. hospitalized in Spain to try to stem the spread of Ebola after a nurse, nurse, Spanish nurse became the first person in the world known to have contracted the virus outside of Africa. Health authorities said on Tuesday the nurse who tested positive for the virus on Monday, her husband who has shown no symptoms of the disease, and two other people are being closely monitored in the, in the hospital. Health officials told a news conference in Madrid, one of those hospitalized is a health worker who has diarrhea but no fever. Wedding bells for same-sex couples will soon ring out in 11 more states, and many legal experts say it's likely just a matter of time before same-sex marriages will be legal across America, after the Supreme Court on Monday let stand several lower court decisions allowing any weddings, or gay weddings. In effect, the Supreme Court made history by doing nothing. The justices declined to hear challenges by five states, including Utah, letting court decisions to allow gay marriage stand. Same-sex couples in six other states that fall under the jurisdiction of those same appellate courts will soon be allowed to marry as well, experts said. In Utah, same-sex marriage is resumed around yesterday, or resumed yesterday around 10 a.m. Idaho is in the ninth district court system, which is expected to strike down same-sex marriage bans when it hears the next case. The world's upper oceans may have stored far more heat from the warming climate than previously thought, according to a new study that purports to provide the first rough estimate of the amount of heat researchers have missed in their attempts to measure changes on the ocean's heat continent. If the results hold up to additional security, they suggest that the global warming's effect on upper ocean temperatures between 1970 and 2004 have been underestimated by 24 to 58 percent. Getting ocean heat is right. Is is amount important for estimating the amount of sea lo level rise caused by expansion of sea water as it warms and the amount of attributed to melting of land placed glaciers and ice sheets. Researchers say. We'll be right back after these messages. Are you interested in catching some big fish? Then join Columbia High School's Fishing Club. We'll discuss technique, hot spots to fish, and how to catch the big ones. You don't have to be an expert. In fact, we'll teach you how. If you want to enjoy the great outdoors, then join Fishing Club. Fishing Club meetings will be held on Tuesdays in room A235. That's Mr. Shizzle's room, and he would love to see you there. Remember, Fishing Club is for everyone, so don't be afraid to come out and try it. See Dr. Keller today and give your mouth a fresh start. Today's high is 82 with a low of 40, 48, and tomorrow's high is 79 with a low of 46. Fishing Club will be meeting today in Ms. Shezel's room after school. The first trip is this Friday. The club is going to be going to the Boise River. Be there to get all the information you'll need. National Honor Society meets after school today in the library. Also, the district, the district wide BPA meeting is at Nampa High after school at 3 o'clock today. Be in room 103 at 3 to be part of the action. The week is here. Be part of the lunchtime activities, the annual bonfire, our first parade, and fireworks at Friday's football game versus Meridian High. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday is Workout Wednesday. Thursday is Blackout, and Friday is Wildcat Pride. Hey, freshmen. TOP Teen Outreach Program is still accepting applications. TOP is an after-school club focused on life skills and community service. TOP will meet every Monday from 3 to 4 in the Career Center. See Mrs. Kimball if you're interested. The Boise National College Fair is Wednesday, October 29th at Expo Idaho. Over 200 colleges from across the country will be there. CHS will take two buses to the event. If you are a junior and you want to go to the College Fair with CHS, you need to, to get a permission slip from the Counseling Center. There are only 100 spots available, so attendance is first come, first serve. You will also need to attend a 
what to expect at the college fair. Workshop is ordered to go on the trip. See any counselors for details. Today's stat word of the day is asserting a verb that means confirm the truth of something. You could use it this way. His humor was so dry that it was often difficult to ascertain whether he was deliberately trying to be funny. That's your news. We'll see you tomorrow right here on the Wildcat Wire. <laughs>